Hey guys, in this video, I wanna share an automation that I sold to a client for $1,000. So what our flow is doing is it's scraping these reviews and then it's gonna write them to a Google database here. So we've got the link to the Trustpilot user. We've got the review itself. Then we're using AI to categorize the sentiment. Was it negative? Was it neutral? Was it positive? And then we've got a date of the review as well. So this workflow automates doing competitor research of your competitor products online, finding user reviews, so people who are talking negatively about your competitor's product. So the use case was, I had a client who worked for a CRM and they were looking to convert customers. They were in the SDR apartment, so they were looking for new customers, new clients, and, and part of their strategy was to find unhappy customers of competitor products, right? So they were manually researching these review platforms like Trustpilot, looking for negative reviews, and then manually reaching out to these folks. So I built them a flow inside of Gumloop that automates the research part. You give it a list of competitors and this workflow will go out and scrape the reviews and then use AI to categorize the sentiment of those reviews. So in this video, I wanna share this $1,000 workflow that you can sell to potential clients in your niche. So we'll look at the workflow in Gumloop in just a second, but let's take a use case here. Obviously this is not the client workflow. I'm just doing a dummy workflow. Let's say you sell stock photo subscriptions, right? So your competitors are Shutterstock, they're Adobe stock, okay? So they have these review pages on Trustpilot and you can see plenty of folks are leaving pretty bad reviews. So the idea is where you can, you're gonna aggregate these reviews, look for the negative reviews, and then if possible, reach out to these folks one-on-one -on -one to see if they wanna try your product. So what our flow is doing is it's scraping these reviews and then it's gonna write them to a Google database here. So it's a very simple automation, but it adds a lot of value because it saves time for these SDRs. It saves manual research. If you're trying to sell these automations, you need to think of a way that you can either add value and revenue to your client's bottom line, or you can save them expenses and save them time. So the way this works in Gumloop is we're doing a simple Google Sheets reader, which is the input. Then we're feeding that into a subflow, which is this research company. So it's taking that input. Then we're gonna use the AI web research node from Gumloop. It's gonna go out and scrape the reviews from these Trustpilot pages. Then we're gonna use an AI node to categorize the sentiment, right? Is the review positive? Is it negative? Is it neutral? And then we're simply gonna write the review information as well as the sentiment categorization back into our Google Sheet database. And what the client can do is they can set a trigger for this. It can run every day, it can run once a week, whatever the cadence is for them to scrape these reviews. And then all they have to do is come into their database, whether it's every morning or once a week and check for the sentiment, right? Check for the negative sentiment reviews, click into the review itself and see if they can get in touch with the user who left the review so they can reach out and pitch their own product. By the way, if you wanna grab this gum loop template as well as all of my other templates. Be sure to check out my school community, The Automators School. This is all about how you can make money making AI automations and AI agents, whether you're gonna sell it to clients or build it for your own business. So be sure to check out the school community. All right, so let's build this out step-by-step step inside of Gumloop. Again, it's a very simple flow that you can sell to clients here. So I'm gonna create a new flow from scratch. And there's two parts to this, right? We're gonna do a subflow and a main flow. So what I wanna build out is the actual research part, right? The actual scraping and categorization first, and then we'll do the input, okay? So to start with our first node, we're gonna use an input node. And I'm gonna drag this onto the canvas. And what we're gonna use eventually for this is the URL of the company review page, in this example, on Trustpilot. So you can see, and I should have mentioned this at the beginning, I'm building this out using Google Sheets, a very simple Google Sheet here. I've got two tabs, one is input. So the input here, column A, are the company reviews. So these are the Trustpilot links. And then I have an output sheet here, which has the user profile, the user review, the sentiment, 
and the date. So if you're trying to recreate this Google document from scratch, you can follow along that way. But back inside of Gumloop, again, we're gonna use an input node. And just for now, I'm gonna remove this later on. For the default value, I'm just gonna include a link to a Trustpilot review. So you can see this is for Shutterstock right here. So I can save this flow and then we can move on to the next step. So what we're gonna do with this URL is we want AI to search the web for us and kind of make some determinations. So this is, in my opinion, the most powerful node in Gumloop. It's this AI web research node. So it's gonna take an input and then do something that you want it to do. But first you need to give it a prompt. So you'll notice right now, there's actually no input here, right? Or output. So what you need to do first is give it a research prompt. So what do you want it to do with your input? So I'm gonna say, given a trust pilot company profile URL, extract for each review. So I'm asking for three things. The user's profile URL, the user's review, and the date of the review. So what I'm asking for are these three columns over here, the profile, the review itself, and the date, okay? So I'm prompting my web research node for that. Now, once I have my prompt, then what I can do is click on this generate inputs and outputs, and now what Gumloop is gonna do is provide an actual input and an actual output. So just give it a second and then I'll be able to drag my input node onto my web research node. All right, so you can see that finished. And now what I can do is again, drag my input node to the AI web research. And now what it's gonna say is, what is the trust pilot company profile URL? So based on my prompt, it knows what it needs to ask for. So I'm gonna drag the output from the input node right over here. And you can see it's already filled in the rest of my prompt here. So it's saying trust pilot company profile URL and it's got the variable filled in over here. And now for my output, what I have is the reviewer profile URL, the text of the review and the date of the review. And then with every, every time you use the AI web research node in Gumloop, it's gonna give you the citations and the reasoning, I'm not gonna use this, but every time you use this node, it will be there for you as an output. Okay, next what I wanna do is categorize the sentiment of the reviews using AI. So going back to our Google Sheet here, so what I'm gonna do is take these reviews and I'm gonna have AI read them and then categorize them, okay, with a sentiment. So let's say I had a giant spreadsheet, there was a thousand entries here, and I don't wanna read through all these reviews, I just wanna look at all of the negative ones, right? So that's the use case here. So let me go back into Gumloop, and I'm gonna pull up a new node here, which is an AI categorizer. So let me drag that on, and now I'm gonna drag the output from the web research into the input of the categorizer. And I'm gonna just rename this to categorize sentiment. So the first thing that we need to do is provide it with the content to categorize, right? What is it actually categorizing? Well, it's not the URLs, it's not the dates, right? It's the actual text, it's the actual reviews. So let me drag that on there. And now it's saying, hey, if you wanna provide any additional context, right? So what are we actually categorizing? So I'm gonna say categorize the sentiment of this online review, okay? Now that we have the context or the text that's gonna be categorized, I need to provide the categories. What categories should the AI output, okay? So for this, I'm just gonna do a positive review, negative, and then neutral, okay? So I'm just gonna give it three categories. You could give it more if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave the AI model as GPT-41 Mini. You could change that as well if you wanted, but now our categorized node is looking good. All right, next we just need a Google Sheet writer node, right? So we wanna write the results of the web research node and the sentiment node back to Google Sheets. So let's come back to the node library, search for sheets, and what we want here is a writer node. So let's drag that onto the canvas. Now the first thing you need to do is, if you haven't connected your Google account to Gumloop, do that, and you're gonna need to select the spreadsheet that you created. So in my example here, this is Trust Pilot Test, so let me select that. All right, so I've selected my spreadsheet. Now what I wanna do is come down here and select the sheet name. So the sheet name is actually gonna be the output 
sheet, right? So the, the output of the research. So let me select the correct sheet. And then let's make sure that all of the columns are selected. So we've got the user profile, the review, the sentiment, and the date, okay? So now that we have the correct sheet and the correct columns, let's connect the outputs, okay? So let me just drag this a little further down. So let me connect first the sentiment, the sentiment output, okay? So now I have the sentiment as an option here. And actually one thing that I do need to do is for writer mode, what I wanna do is change this to add new rows, which is plural, right? So now it's gonna change that to a list, which is what we want. So let me drag the categorizer sentiment into the input over here. And now we need to drag the AI web research node output to the Google Sheet. And now I can drag in the profile URLs, the user reviews, and the dates, right? So this is what we want to populate our sheet with, the profile, the reviews, the sentiment, and the date. And we've got our writer mode in add new rows. So this flow itself is actually done. We just need to add one more step. All right, so right now I have this flow with an input with just one single URL, right? So I could, you know, run this manually right now. I could set this to trigger tomorrow morning, but that's not gonna be very helpful because what the client is gonna want is a list of companies, right? Not just one company to scrape or monitor, but multiple companies. So in my Google Sheet, you can see I do have this input node and just imagine 10 or 20 companies here. So how do we get our automation to actually go through all of the companies in our list, not just this one single input, right? So to do that, we're gonna use a subflow, okay? And so to do that, you're just gonna hit this plus button and click new subflow. And I'm gonna rename this one to input. And then I'm gonna rename the, the main flow, which I just built to research company. All right, so this research company is now gonna act as a subflow. And the way to think about subflows in Gumloop is this is basically one node now, right? It's one action or it's a series of actions rather that I can run as a single node, right? So I can add this entire flow onto my canvas as one node. That'll make sense in just a second. So this is again, now my subflow. Now watch what I do here. So I'm gonna go back to my input, which is now kind of my main flow. And again, what I wanna do is have this read all of the company URLs in this file here. So that's gonna be a Google Sheet reader and it's gonna be a reader node. So let me drag that on. And again, you've gotta select your file from Google. Okay, so I've got that file selected, the sheet name, make sure you have the correct one. Again, in our example, input is the correct one. So that's already selected. Let me just save. All right, so now this is gonna act as the list of company URLs that our main flow is gonna go through. So I'm gonna go back to the now subflow and see we still have this input node, which is totally fine, but for the default value, I'm gonna remove that link because now, again, we're gonna use the Google Sheet and this list of company URLs as the input. Now, how do we actually use this flow, this subflow as a node itself, right? So going back to my now main node, what I can do is go back into my node library and I may have to refresh actually. Let me save and refresh and then go back to my node library. And now you can see under subflow, so when I click that, you can see this says research company, which matches the name of that subflow. So I can drag this onto my canvas as a node itself, right? So we're using this entire flow, this series of steps, as a node, that's the way to think of subflow. So now I can connect my Google Sheet Reader to that flow and now the input, right? Instead of it being hard coded in there, like I had it before, the input is gonna be this list of company URLs. So let me drag that there. This is gonna go into loop mode. Now let me hit save. So what's gonna happen, again, I could set this on a timer to run once a day, once a week, Okay, or in this example, I'm just gonna hit run to do this manually, and it's gonna go through these two URLs, right? That's gonna read that, and then it's gonna trigger this subflow. 
So it's going to do all of the steps, right? So that's how subflows work. All right, we can test this now. So I do have this sheet that I was showing before. I'm going to uh, delete those entries. So now our database is empty. Our input includes two links, one for Adobe, one for Shutterstock. So what I'm going to do is just run this flow manually, and we can see what's going to happen in the background here. So you can see it's hitting that Google Sheet reader, and then we've got these two URLs. We've got Trustpilot for Adobe and then Trustpilot for Shutterstock. So now it's researching each company, and it's hitting this subflow right here. And you can see when I click into Research Company, so this is the subflow itself. And you can see it finished the first one. So I can click into view run and it's gonna show the individual run. So remember it had, it had two company URLs. So it's gonna run this subflow two separate times, right? So when we click into the input node, this is taking that first one, which is Adobe. And then it's running through all of those steps, right? So the AI web research node is gonna take the Adobe URL and it's gonna go out and find the dates of the reviews and the text of the reviews and the profile URLs of the people leaving the reviews. Then it's gonna hit our categorize node, right? So remember, we're feeding the text of those reviews and we're asking it to categorize. So in this instance, they were all negative, okay? So that's what our AI categorizer is doing and then it's gonna write it to Google Sheets. So you can see the flow was running successfully and let's hop into our Google Sheet over here and you can see it's filled up now with some reviews. So we've got our profile URLs, the actual reviews, sentiment and these examples were all negative. So let's just open one up here and here we, here we can see a review from Zach on Shutterstock, right? So AI garbage is crowding out real content on December. 11th. Here we have the review from Zach. Here we have the sentiment as negative and the date. Now we could configure this to try to fetch a certain number of reviews over a certain amount of time. But in this instance for the client, we had it run once a week because these reviews aren't, you know, left every single day. But here's another review you can see from Rob here. And this is, you know, a void, don't know how it happened, which is this review right here. So again, April 23rd, 2025, which is the date. And then we've got the sentiment as negative. So there you have it, a very simple flow that has a lot of impact on businesses that you can sell this automation to. Again, if you want the free template, be sure to check out my school community. We're talking about building AI agents and building AI automations that you can sell to clients as an agency or a freelancer or to build them for your own business. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. It really helps me out.